Hey there. You look like someone who could use the talk. Best friend, right? I'll have to think about it. Oh, that's fine. I sell dogs for a living, but I always hate to actually have to sell them. I will, though, if you change your mind. Hey. Hey there. You look like someone who could use the talk. Man's best friend, right? Why are you selling her? Oh, I don't want to. But I love dogs, and I gotta make a living somehow. So I raise them and sell them. I'm always blue for weeks after I sell one. But then I get myself a new puppy and start all over again. You've got a deal. Oh, yeah. You sure? I mean, she's a great dog. Don't get me wrong. I just don't want to sell her to anyone who isn't going to take good care of her. Is your dog for sale or not? Well, yes, but I just have trouble actually selling my dogs when it gets right down to it. I get kind of attached, you know? Look, it's up to you. You were the one who offered to sell me the dog, remember? Yeah, I know. It just, when it comes down to it, I always have trouble actually selling them, you know? So I don't want to sell her to someone who won't take care of her. I'm sure you understand. I'll take good care of her. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. You look like you won't eat her or anything. So, you really want to buy her? Is there any paperwork you need me to fill out first? Uh, a list of references? I'm not really sure what you're talking about, but I think you're making fun of me. Which is fine. I get that all the time. I guess I'm not very good at selling dogs, but I just need a straight answer. Do you want to buy her or not? How many different ways do you need me to say yes? Yeah, I know. I don't actually end up selling a lot of dogs. I guess I'm not very good at selling dogs, but I just need a straight answer. Do you want to buy her or not? Yes. I really want to buy your dog. Okay. You have some place for her to live, right? Uh, I guess that'll have to be okay. Okay, girl. This is your... Uh, new owner. He's, he's gonna give you a new home. Come on now. You you be a good girl. Bye bye. I uh I gotta go. You take care of her, all right? <clears throat> you better take good care of her.
help? Excuse me. Hey. What do you need? Yo, strong. Take meat. Make humans strong. Anything you want to talk about? So many humans. Not many super mutants. Nothing else for now. She's right back here! Hurry! Hey! I told you to bring them in through the basement! Shut up! They're headed this way now! Be ready! so long. I don't know. Maybe you should go check it out. You don't think I will? I'm tired of sitting in my ass anyway. What's the point of hiding back here? Why the hell don't we just shoot them in the head the second they step through the door? Are you fucking... Smashing!
Heads up. Yes, human. Heads up. Look alive. What? Strong can carry a lot. Look alive. Strong human has new orders. How's it going? Strong glad human is with him. How do you think human things is are like twins? other humans? Smart but weak. Strong stay with human for now. Won't be able to pick this. Tinker, 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 strong boy.
Head on inside. Where it is, something bad went down in the old museum of witchcraft up near Salem. Why would anyone even go there? Been abandoned forever. Alright, you. Tell me. Diamond City Radio? It's terrible, yes? It makes you want to cut your own ears off. I don't think I noticed. You listen to it. It grates on ears like sandpaper. This DJ Travis, he is disaster. Something must be done, and soon. We will have customers suiciding before long. Vadim! It's true! Don't listen to my brother. Someone needs to get rid of him. We need a new DJ for the radio. I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. I guess that'll be one way to handle it. It would be quick and probably mostly painless. You just first leave him out of town. All right, that's enough. Vadim isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. He seemed pretty serious to me. No, no, no. He, he was only kidding, right, Vadim? <laughs> it's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job, or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. Well, something like that could be tough to change. No, it's easy to fix. I tell you, Fim, over and over. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. Tell Strong what to do. Strong ready! What are you thinking about? Strong getting hungry. Want someone to eat. Oh, nothing. Hey, Yefim. Glad we haven't scared you off yet. Need a room? I'll take it. Room two is yours. Enjoy. Have a nice day. Just don't throw up all over my floors. 